everyone. This is Yuli again here for another small business business tip. <laughs> now, this particular tip only applies to small business owners in the state of California. I'm sorry. This is regarding obtaining your seller's permit. A number of our small business owners don't hold a seller's permit because they are not aware of the process of how to obtain it. And then there's others that assume that the permit fee is too expensive. So they feel they need to wait to obtain it. But actually, neither is true. It's not difficult to obtain it and it's free to obtain it. So why don't we get started? I'll share my screen with you and we will start in Google. So let's go to Google and find this website. We are going to Google California Department of Tax and Fee Administration. It happens to already be listed. So let's go to their website, which is CDTFA ca.gov you'll see it right there and from this screen we'll start right here register for a permit and we will register online now you can read over this information if you like just to get yourself familiar but to proceed on let's just tap get started now because i've been here already it's telling me that my session expired but you won't get that screen that i just received you'll go straight to this screen so here, you'll scroll down to the bottom to registration and click on register a new business activity because you have a new business that you'd like to obtain a permit for. So here, you will find all that applies to you. For myself, I'm selling items or goods in California. I need a seller's permit. These other items do not apply to me. So then I will keep going. Now, this next screen, we hope that you can say no to all of these items uh, because if you have to say yes to any of them, well, that's another tutorial. <laughs> Again, uh, these are all no's. I'm not doing that. Nope, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So now, well, what business type are you registering? Well, I personally have a individual sole proprietor. You may have something different, but this is where you could select it and you will proceed on. Now, this is where it gets fun. This from here on out is pretty simple. You'll just enter all of your personal information about your business and proceed on. So it's really simple. And then when you're all done, actually you will be able to print your seller's permit. And you'll have something that looks like this. And then it says on top seller's permit, display conspicuously, I can never say that word, a place of business for which issued, and you're good to go. And that's it. You have a seller's permit and you are legalized. Until next time. Bye.